Alright guys, what's up? Empowered Cues here, bringing you some more League of Legends action. I wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys today. I was thinking about starting a new series that's uh, lessons on jacks, advanced tips, etc. And kind of how to do the landing phase at least. So this is going to be a level 1 on how to do the E level 1 cheese essentially on jacks. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to like share subscribe let me know in the comments what you think so I could give you some more advanced tips or if you would just prefer more full game commentaries let me know what you'd like to think like to see it who so what we're having here is the level 1 e trade so your idea as Jax as a laner is your levels 1 through 7 are a little weak level 1 you have the advantage with your e though on any auto attack based champion because you negate all of the damage so the idea here is you're really going to want to auto attack a minion. And the reason being is you want to start the proc on your Conqueror, which takes four seconds to activate after you auto attack a champion. So you're going to want to walk in, hit, auto attack the champion, and you're going to start generating all this damage by the minions right here. And that's going to build up damage from your E. Because remember, all the damage you take from your E builds up to get it its max amount of damage. So here, let's see it in action. So this is a uh, plat two game of mine, by the way. So starting a couple seconds. There we go. Walk away, done. So that creates a nice little trade scenario there where look at Camille's health versus ours. We've already started generating lane pressure by the difference in health between the two of us. The other nice thing about doing this is it allows you to pretty easily push the level two advantage, which I'm gonna do. So if you watch here, slowly see Essen. She's auto attacking. Now don't forget about Camille as she has a little shield. So that's that right there. That shield negates any damage, so you don't want to trade to that shield. So a little Camille specific, but think about cooldowns when you want to trade. So as soon as that shield's down and the cooldown is up, I'm going to walk up, start my Conqueror proc hit. There it goes. Get that bonus damage. Walk away. Step to the side. Get another hit. Now look. Now Camille's already at half health, and I am at three force. We've also taken Corrupting Pot at the beginning to keep ourselves nice and healthy in order to win this trade. So you're gonna see me push the level two trade here. So I'm gonna hit level two off the first minion, I think right here. And then we're gonna try and hit her and potentially get a kill. So we're kind of going this back and forth. My Conqueror's up level two, auto attack, activate, jump, hit, walk away. Now look at Camille, Camille's health versus mine. Now Camille has one of two choices. She could try and farm underneath tower. Now in this game, I played super aggressive and take ignite you are about to see we may not need that or she could back and teleport back in so either way we burn to teleport potentially or we're going to get a kill so now watch for a second boom done so all of that damage we build up from our e because we were taking some minion damage we instantly flash in as opposed to jumping because a not gonna lie to you jump was on cooldown but flash is instant so it gives her no time to react now she would have to instantly flash to get away from that uh, and then in which case, I can actually look for a tower dive because she no longer has flash. She is level 1. And I have ignite. So probably a jump uh, a auto attack is going to get the kill. Now, the disadvantage to doing this is you potentially create a awkward situation with the minion wave. Because you have to push the wave into tower. If you do not push the wave under tower after the second wave, you leave yourself really open to ganks. As of right now... 2 minutes and 40 seconds is the magic clear time for most junglers to do buff camp buff. So look at where Master Yi is right here. So let's say I don't kill the Camille right here and she's pretty equal health with me and I don't do that E trade successfully. I'm stuck right here. Because Camille will then maybe have her hook shot or can poke me with her leg sweep. And I'm not going to go under her tower so she could potentially hold the wave right here. So that E trade, when you hit the E and attack the enemy it also hits the minions which pushes the wave so you want to push this wave fully in so it bounces back to you otherwise ye could just come up here and gank me which is probably what he would do so that's a little lesson for you guys on the level one jacks trade pushing the level two advantage kind of idea and going for the early kills to establishing top lane dominance well i hope you guys like that one don't forget to like share subscribe like i said at the beginning uh you can find my twitch info as well on the bottom if you want to watch me play some jacks so uh looking forward to you guys tuning in there and definitely see you next time peace